Hi everyone. Today I am going to show you how to make an accordion book, if that's what you choose to do with your project. So there's a lot of measuring involved, just with, like with any kind of book making, and also a way that you put everything together. So you'll have a bunch of different options. This is just one option. All right, you ready to get started? Okay, so the first thing you're going to need are the boards and the paper that you need for this project. Now the boards, we're just going to be using either cardboard or mat board. And the book I'm making, I know what size I want it to be because the prints that I'm going to put in it are six inches by six inches, they're square. So I'm going to make the cover of my book a bit bigger than my actual prints. You can see here, this one is seven inches and it's seven inches going up and down as well. And I've already cut it out using the paper cutter. And you'll notice I have two of them right here. So I have two boards, they're both seven inches by seven inches. My prints that I'm putting in are six inches by six inches. So they're an inch larger in both dimensions. Over here, I'm getting ready to cut my paper that will go in my book. It's a long piece of paper. And I want this paper, once I fold it, to be a little bit smaller than my covers, but larger than my prints, so that I have a little bit of a border around my prints. Now remember, my prints that I'm using are six inches by six inches. Yours might be different. Since they're six inches by six inches, and my cover is seven inches, I'm going to make my pages of my accordion book six and a half inches. So I'm taking my ruler and I've already measured out a height of six and a half inches. You see my little mark right there. And I've me measured it all along the board so I can cut it. But I've also gone and made marks at every six and a half inches along the way. There's 13 and then there's my other mark right there. Now, I need, I have eight prints that I'm doing. You need to decide how many prints you're putting in your book and make sure you have enough pages. For an accordion book, the beauty of that is that you can actually put your images on both sides of the paper. So I really just need four squares on both sides. And so I can only fit three on the length of this paper. So I'm actually going to use this whole length and I'm gonna use a second strip of paper. And so I'm going to get that ready and then I'll show it to you here in a second. Okay, so now I have my pages cut. They look like this right here. And I'm actually going to attach them. I have two pieces. And in order to have enough pages for all my prints, I need to actually use two pieces and attach them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two of these and I'm going to completely overlap them like this. And then I wanna make sure I overlap them in a way where it still folds together in the accordion shape I want. Now I've got partial pieces on my ends, which is okay, we'll talk about those in a second. But I'm going to use rubber cement, because remember it doesn't require paper. And I'm just going to kind of cover this whole thing right here with the rubber cement and then put these two pieces completely together so that it's really actually kind of hard to tell that they're two separate pieces. If I put the edge of the paper right here in the seam, you can't even tell. Okay, so I've attached my pieces. So now you see it's one long piece and I only actually need eight sections for my prints. I only have eight prints. You might have eight, you might have six, you might have a different number. So you just need to make sure you have enough surface pages for those prints. I, so if this is, I'm going to actually cut down this to the right size a little bit later. We don't need to worry about that right now. We, ha we have more than enough pages, so we can do that in a little bit. The next thing we're gonna do is put our cover, the paper, the, the decorative paper we want for our cover on our cover pieces, our boards. So this right here, I'm going to use this navy blue for my front cover. I just need to make sure that it's definitely bigger than my cover paper. And I'm going to use this cream color for the back cover. Okay. And so I'm going to go through that now and then I'll explain it after once, once you watch me do it. So 
So I just cut this shape, which I used this as a guide for, and I wanted to make sure that this covered the entire, this is gonna be actually to be the front, and I put about an inch on each edge like this, and then I cut right here, these corners, just at a slight angle in both ends. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to brush my adhesive on, I can't find my brush. Well, you get the idea. I'm going to brush my adhesive on right here, right here, right here, and right here. Now before I do that, I probably, not a bad idea, a good idea of something to do is to take this piece and to put rubber cement over the entire thing. That way I can just put it right here in the center and you have a nice seal of the paper to the cardboard. Then I'm gonna take my actual book adhesive and that's when I'll brush this on. And after I brush it on, I'm actually gonna use this. This is our bone folder. And we're gonna use this to actually fold it over and to make some sharp creases. This is awesome for that. And to also kind of flatten it out on here so that it's completely flat and looks very nice and neat. And I'll do that all the way around, okay? Okay, so now I've actually decided that I can cut off these extra tabs of my inside. So I have one cover done. Um, the back cover or the front, the, both covers are made exactly the same way. So you just do everything I just did. You noticed how I put adhesive down. I used my bone folder to fold it over and to really crease it. So it's very smooth and it's kind of, it looks perfect. That's what the bone folder is for. The bone folders are really great tools for this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to cut these tabs off. And this is for you to, to determine. You wanna make sure you have enough pages in your accordion book, but you also want to um, make sure it looks really nice. So I'm cutting off these the ends because they're not quite the same size as everything else. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to just attach my cover I have a little bit of glue on there still. I'm going to attach my cover to the first flat part of my book. And I'm just gonna use rubber cement. I'm gonna cover the whole thing and I'm gonna leave a little bit of a border right here, you can see, just to make sure it looks really nice. I wanna make sure it's straight. And so I'm just gonna cover this whole back part with rubber cement, glue it on there, make sure I get all the way to all the edges, make sure I take away any rubber cement that kind of seeps out of the edges so my book doesn't glue shut or so I don't see it. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to take whatever side is flat and I'm going to glue that to the other cover. So then what happens is when I open this up, I have one, two, three, four pages for pictures. And the cool thing about an accordion book is that then I can flip it over and I have four spots on the other side. So you can actually, accordion books are great for display because you can display them open, but you can also, let me show you this one right here. This is an accordion book I made years ago. You can make them so they only open from one direction as well. So this is an accordion book. It looks about the same. You know, I got a little bit, I did some decorative stuff here on the inside, which you can totally do with your uh, decorative paper. You know, keep your scraps and then you can do that. And then I added some rope that I put actually kind of under the paper so it's hidden. I'll bring it a little bit closer, right there so it's hidden. And it's in there really snug and tight. And then I, that way I can close this. And if I tie these ends together, my book just opens this way. So then it's like a normal book and it can only open this way or I can do it the other way. I can tie these ends and open it this way. But I can also open it like this and set it out for display, which is super cool if you have some art in there, which you're gonna have. So when you're done, 
this is sort of what your piece should look like. What, whether you add strings or not is totally up to you. I have all sorts of threads you can use. I added beads for embellishment. I added this little piece of paper here. Um, it's just a decorative thing. You don't have to do that. And also how you treat your inside is up to you as well. But this is a piece of art. So treat it as such and you can do really amazing things with it. Okay, so I have a bunch of samples in the classroom that you can see and look at before you start, but I hope you have fun making your accordion book. <laughs>